All right, so using all of the materials we just made from the previous video, except the small ball that we used for find the ball, we're going to set up ball toss. So we have our 50, 100, 250, and 500 pieces of paper, and one to three crumpled balls, and four bowls. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the four bowls in a line, just like this, and then add the numbers to each bowl. So now we have 50, 100, 250, and 500. Now you're going to grab your balls and your goal is to toss them in the bowl and you get three chances to do so. So the first one, zero. If you only have one ball, you just go get it and play again. But since I've got some extras, I'm gonna use them. So it's pretty tricky. I didn't get any points, but had I gotten one here and one here, I would have gotten 350. After your three tosses, you switch and whoever gets the most points wins. All right, so now we're gonna make ball toss a little more challenging. Instead of throwing the ball into bowls, we're going to use cans. And instead of putting the numbers in the cans, we're gonna just keep them next to the cans. So we're gonna lay them out the same way, 50, 100, 250, and 500. I tried to put mine in a line, but it's okay if they're in a different pattern. So next, we grab our crumpled paper ball, and we're going to have five turns again to try to throw the ball in the cans and get as many points as possible. So I didn't make it, so that's zero points. But had it gone in, I would write down 100 and keep track of my five turns and then switch, and whoever gets the most points after the five turns wins.